Hello, today we're going to discuss the expectations for your second lab report. These will be very similar to what you had to do for lab report one. As you recall, these labs covered protein quantification, SDS gel electrophoresis, and protein weight determination or quantification. We have uploaded some sample articles on the Blackboard to guide you with completing your reports. While you should not follow the exact format done by these papers, you should use them to help clarify how you should discuss each topic. For example, Western blotting, SDS gels, etc. You should be able to convey what each experiment did and what you learned from them. These reports do not have a page minimum or maximum. However, they should be able to sufficiently address each lab for a total of 25 points. As you can see, some of these example papers are not hyperlinked directly to your PowerPoint. That is okay, these will be made available onto Blackboard for you to access alongside with your lab report rubric. Again, each lab report needs to be done individually. However, it is okay to have identical data with your lab partners. Every report must include a cover page with title, your name, your partner's names, the institution, and the date, an abstract that summarizes the report findings and importance, an introduction that provides background into the biological techniques and how they can be used to identify or quantify proteins, a materials and methods section that introduces and explains each experiment, how they were done, how they were set up, and done so without copying and pasting the handouts or structuring everything as a list, a results section for each figure or table created, as well as equations or any calculations used, a discussion of what these results mean and what can be inferred from them, a future direction of what else could be done to validate results or what other techniques or tests could have been utilized. And lastly, a work cited page with in-text citations must be included. Again, just a little bit of housekeeping. These reports are to be written individually and not as groups. These reports are all due on November 10th. And if you have any more questions, please email Dr. Kim or Min.